Titans, welcome to another Form Titan video. In this video, I'll show you how to push a file link from Amazon S3 to Salesforce. So, first thing first, you need to make sure your integration is enabled. So, you go in there, Amazon S3, authenticate, put your bucket name, folder, and permission, and you're good to go. Next up, what you want to do is set up the data. So, let's do full name. Email and then do file upload. We'll call this passport <coughs> and then we'll do a submit button here. Next up, we will go ahead and set up a Salesforce integration push. We'll push it to contact and then we'll go ahead and map our field. So let's just map the standard stuff, which is last name, first name, and then email. Next, what you want to do is, so I've created a custom field called Amazon, which will contain the URL, which is here. And what you want to do is within um, here, you've got something called Amazon S3.passport.url. Okay, so this is what's going to append the Amazon S3 URL. You just need to select that. You can also give it a custom name if you wish as well. And uh, and that's it pretty much. So I'll show you what the fields I've got mapped. First name, last name, email, and then obviously the Amazon S3 passport.url. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and show you how it works. So we'll call this Amazon S3. Amazon.com and then here I'll just go ahead and upload <clears throat> a passport right one thing you need to be aware of that your file if it has spaces Amazon will not append it properly and the URL will have half of the URL the other half will just be a text and it won't look good so make sure that your file has no spaces it must not have any spaces Otherwise, there are issues. So if it has no spaces, go ahead and upload it. Now it's uploaded. Let's go and check our integration logs. Let's see our contact record. Here it is. And here is my Amazon S3 URL. I can click on it, and it will automatically download for me the file. And that's how easy it is. You can set up. Um, your Amazon S3 and have the URL going back in here once you've created the contact and then you can download the file directly by clicking on the link. This is how it's done.